My name is Hugh Ball. I have been in practice here in the East Bay uh, for the last 18 years. My practice is 100% spine surgery. I do both adult and pediatric spine surgery. I do get a number of patients who come in with very severe back pain. And so they've seen multiple surgeons and other uh, non-operative uh, care type physicians who, and physical therapists who say, well, your MRI is normal, so you shouldn't have back pain. And I think that uh, really puts a, a burden on the patient. They don't understand why they're feeling the way they feel, and yet they uh, have this nebulous, non-diagnosed condition. Now, anyone who comes into my practice with back pain also gets the hips examined and the sacroiliac joint examined in order to rule out any referred sources of pain. With the sacroiliac joint exam, we have uh, five what we call provocative tests. If we find three of the five as being positive, or in other words, provocative of pain, then that tends to uh, increase our level of confidence as to whether the SI joint is the culprit. Sometimes I will refer them to physical therapy to have them specifically work on the SI joint. If the physical therapy does not seem to give them relief. Then the next step in the diagnosis is to have them perform a diagnostic sacroiliac joint injection. The definitive treatment for this condition, in my opinion, is the uh, I-Fuse system, a surgical procedure which is a minimally invasive sacroiliac joint fusion. In many cases, uh, patients come in who have had prior uh, lumbar fusions, and those fusions stand a higher risk of developing sacroiliac joint problems. The whole purpose of the fusion is to render stability and not have any excess of motion. And that triangular implant prevents what we call a torsional instability. If you were to use a screw or something that's circular, you can still potentially have movement in the plane of that circle. Whereas if you have a triangle, it basically locks it in place. With that and the fact that the greater surface area available for the bony ingrowth due to the geometry of these implants really makes it a remarkably simple and elegant solution for this fusion procedure. In my practice, it's been a very powerful and uh, very, very useful tool, and it's one of the procedures that I uh, have a very high level of confidence in when I recommend it uh, to a patient.